We've been fighting them for over two years now. But do you know who the LMB short for Last Man Battalion actually are? And who's the bald guy that's running it? Through story footage, CCTV footage, phone intel and virus reports, I will show you who are the LMB and who is Charles Bliss. The LMB are a private military company, or PMC for short. When the green poison virus hit, the worn and battle-weary soldiers were recalled from overseas and diverted back to Manhattan. Why? To protect the valuable papers from Wall Street companies during the outbreak. But as you all know, the crisis worsened and there wasn't anything left to protect. And under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Charles Bliss, the bald dickhead you see seen everywhere, the LMB got a new objective. Retake New York and establish a new world order by force rule with an iron fist. Essentially, establish a fascist rule. There were those among us who were angry when the decision was made to leave us behind. Leave us to die, as some people said. But I looked around at this city and I saw opportunity. I saw what it had been. And I saw what it could be once again if someone had the guts to fight for it. If there were men willing to go out in the streets and take them back from the degenerates and lowlifes who ruled them now, to do what the cowardly government and its fearful, weak soldiers were too afraid to do, and to cut down all the liars and murderers and thieves who stand in the way of peace. We will not look back. We will not compromise. We will do whatever it takes to ensure a better tomorrow for all those who stand with us. And those who stand against us, may God have mercy on their souls. Bliss out. Together with Aaron Keener and his rogue agent, the LMB were in open war against a strategic homeland division Rikers, rioters and cleaners even. Keener offered them shade tech and inside information, while the LMB offered them manpower and the occasional surface-to-air missile system, with which they took out the second wave division commander. The LMB had a lot of resources and highly trained units on the field. Riflemen, grenadiers, scouts, snipers, engineers, medics, gunner squad leaders and sometimes they were even aided by first wave rogue agents and drones. Each have unique loadouts with different guns, equipment and even skills capable of rifling the division's tech. Besides the manpower, they also have access to helicopters and APCs. Even with all this manpower, don't ask me how, the LMB was still no match for the division. Slowly they got pushed back to their headquarters at the United Nations Embassy, where the final battle between the second wave agents and Colonel Lieutenant Charles Bliss took place, resulting in the death of Bliss himself. Meanwhile, Keener had betrayed the LMB and took off with Vitaly Chernenko to secure his future plans, but that's what we discussed in another video. After Bliss's defeat, the LMB collapses and the remaining members scatter around the city and no longer pose any threat to the citizens and JTF. That is until one big party of LMB had huddled up inside a water treatment plant underground with a fully functional armored personnel carrier or APC. A squad of JTF agents found their location but got pinned and that's where we came in and destroyed their SS once again. The final sighting of the LMB has been on the West Side Pier where they have been collaborating with the other factions in order to capture Aaron and Keener as they all have been screwed by him. Still, none of them remain a threat to the division. Any more information is either classified or unknown as the last month battalion has been straight opposing the st strategic homeland division. I have one question before ending the video. Do you agree with Charles Bliss and LMB or are you still on the side of the division?